Hey everyone, welcome back to the plant-based theory. Today we're going to talk about vitamin B12 and the time I nearly fried my brain with a B12 deficiency. Hey everyone, welcome back. Before we get to the super fun story about how I nearly fried my brain with a B12 deficiency, let's talk about what vitamin B12 actually is. It is a vitamin that is produced by single cell organisms like bacteria and archaea, which are all over the planet on everything possible. They're just, I mean, you can't see them because they're single cell organisms, but they are everywhere. They're blanketing our planet and they produce B12. So to make a really long story short, we were never meant to be sterile, meaning we weren't meant to live in a sterile environment Environment. We weren't meant to walk with shoes all the time and use hand sanitizer and wash our hands every five seconds of the day and um, chlorinate our water. So by doing this and by living in a sterile environment, we've essentially created this B12 disaster, meaning we're just not around it anymore. So the only way that we typically get it is people eat animal foods because they still are living in a dirty, filthy environment and therefore they're getting B12 because they're rolling around in the mud and they don't wear shoes or use hand sanitizer. It becomes a big issue for people on plant-based diets or vegan diets because we don't want to eat the animals and therefore we've eliminated one of the main sources of how people get their B12. But animals don't make B12, they get it from the earth. So we have a few options. We can either roll around in the mud and live like animals again and not wear shoes and not use hand sanitizer and start drinking well water and you know do all the things that we used to do um, or we can supplement. And I prefer to supplement because it's easy and I'd rather supplement than go eat an animal for the reason of just getting B12. And the reason B12 is so important is it's actually involved in metabolism of every cell in your body. It's involved in amino acid metabolism, therefore protein metabolism, and it's absolutely vital to normal nervous system function, so your brain and your nerves that travel through your body. So you can imagine what happens if you become deficient in B12, suddenly your brain and nervous system stop functioning, suddenly every cell in your body is not able to go through metabolism properly and at first you can start to experience things like fatigue and headaches and dizziness feeling like you're gonna pass out and then depression and memory loss come into play and then things like anemia and neuropathy and then down the road you can suddenly end up with irreversible brain damage and it's not funny I don't know why I'm laughing at all it's actually pretty horrible so b12 deficiency is one of the scariest deficiencies that you can have if you're anywhere close to it you better pay attention because you don't want irreversible brain damage obviously knowing that and knowing that you know the best way for well in my opinion the best way for us to get it is to supplement because I find it a silly reason to go you know eat enamel just to get b12 when they don't even produce b12 um, I do also try to walk around barefoot and you know not wash my hands all the time and hey I'm still fine <laughs> I don't get sick at all so most people consider a normal b12 range somewhere between 200 and 900 um, about five years ago I noticed that I really wasn't feeling good um, and I went to have my b12 levels checked and they were at eight <laughs> did you get that <laughs> Eight. That's scary shit, folks. I had pretty much run out of B12. Um, I immediately realized the dangers that I was in and immediately did something about it. After talking to doctors, the best explanation they could give me was that I was under so much stress that my body just stopped functioning properly and I stopped absorbing B12. Now, I was consuming plenty of B12, but for some reason my body stopped absorbing it and that's a whole other issue that I'm not going to talk about, but if you have that issue and you are consuming B12 and want to talk about why you're not absorbing it, get a hold of me, I'll talk about it later. But for some reason my body wasn't absorbing it and so suddenly I was just out of B12 and it's something that happens over time it's not something that is just immediate because we do store B12 like I said so it's something that happens over several years so at the time I was trying to play high performance lacrosse and I remember this one day where I was supposed to do this fitness test and I just my body wasn't doing it I kept trying to do it and I was starting to black out and my toes were tingling and my hands were tingling and I was just like what the heck is going on what you know and I thought oh I must be out of shape so I must push harder and I trained harder and harder and harder and you know my body wasn't working my body was completely falling apart um so eventually i realized that i had a b12 deficiency i started getting um, weekly injections to try to get my levels up as quickly as possible so that i didn't wind up with irreversible nerve damage or brain damage and long story short i'm totally fine now but i get asked this question all the time of you know if i'm going to switch to a plant-based diet or you know if i'm vegan how do i get my b12 or you know are these ways of eating or these diets actually realistic because you know wouldn't they 
might provide us with B12 if they were appropriate diets? The answer is again, it's just because we've created such a sterile environment for ourselves. That's the only reason why we don't get B12 anymore. So in my opinion, if you are going to switch to a plant-based diet or a vegan diet, then you should supplement. There are several foods out there that are fortified, but in my opinion, they're not enough. The best way to find out where your B12 levels are, just go get a blood test, go get them checked, find out where they are. If there's a problem, then handle it. Talk to your doctor or ask me what to do. I've had several people ask me what to do, so I'm happy to help. And then have them checked every couple years because again, it can take several years for your vitamin B12 levels to deplete. So don't just assume that you've checked them once and they're good to go. Check them every couple years. It's an easy thing to do and I'd rather do that than have someone wind up with nerve damage and brain damage and, you know, live miserably for the rest of their life. So that's B12 in a nutshell. You don't need to go eat animals. You do need to supplement. You do need to be aware of it because of the environment we've created for ourselves. And if you do wind up with a deficiency for whatever reason, then my goodness, get on top of it quickly because your body won't function without it. And like I said, if for whatever reason you are ingesting B12, but your body's not absorbing it, that's a whole other issue. And I'm happy to talk to you about it if you have that problem. So shoot me a message if you need to, but I hope that helps with your understanding standing a B12. If someone asks now, you can explain it to them, but in a nutshell, it's produced by little organisms that are all over the planet, and unless we roll around the dirt, <laughs> we're not going to get it. So supplement, and that's all for today, folks. So if you are a YouTube user, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to get the notifications, and um, hey, share the video. You might teach someone something that they don't know. Maybe they're suffering from B12 deficiency and they don't know what to do. Um, spread the word, and I will see you soon. Bye! Thank you.